to everyone else, black men, white men, uh, white women, women of any race, men of any race, please stop trying to make black women feel bad for wanting what they want. Hey ladies and gents, it's your girl Ivy as usual and today I want to talk about why it's such an issue for black women to have standards. And this all comes from like different aspects. For example, like whenever we see, or at least as of lately, I've been seeing like black women emphasize living a life of luxury or wanting to attain a certain status or have a certain type of man. And even beyond that, on the Girlfriends podcast almost a year ago, we had a conversation about dating down and what that looks like. And we caught so much hell over what we consider dating down. And a lot of this is wrapped up in this idea that black women should, in my opinion, kind of accept whatever is offered to us. And I do not agree with that at all. I know particularly in that video, I was talking about for myself, how I want someone who ideally has the same level of education as me. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a master's, but you know, a undergraduate degree. I want someone who has a good job like me. And basically I want someone who shares the same like values and goals and desires as I do, which I think we should all be striving to come together with a partner who does share the same values, goals, and desires as we do. And if you find yourself in situations where you are ignoring or putting off or accepting that this person doesn't have those things, that is settling to me. That is dating down. And I don't think there's anything wrong with feeling that way. Y'all can tell me if you guys feel otherwise, but for me, I think it's really important to get with someone who you feel is equally yoked. And equally yoked isn't just having good chemistry. Equally yoked is being with someone who once again, has the same values, goals, and desires. So if you, for example, are a woman who values money, get with a man who values money, okay? If you are someone who values being in an open relationship, you are gonna wanna be with someone who's in an open relationship. If you are someone who values and desires to be married and have kids and have, you know, this beautiful beach house somewhere, align with someone who has the same values and desires, you know? Too often I feel like black women are constantly being like humbled to say like, if you, you know, just because you're working, I don't know, a job that gets you 75k don't pass up on the man who works at McDonald's because for all you know he could be a franchise owner one day and have a whole string of McDonald's like let us want what we want and to those women out there who feel like you have to settle do not there's a man out there who does share the same values, goals, and desires as you, who can live up to those expectations. This is not to say that you should be out here being a gold digger, but I'm gonna have a very frank conversation with you guys. I went to dinner one day with two of my older cousins, and for the first time, you know, I got to sit in and listen, listen in on a conversation, and this was years ago, surrounding, you know, prenuptial agreements and, you know, their perspectives and their, what they've seen, you know, going through college. And for them at that point, they were stressing to me that it's important to have a prenuptial agreement, just regardless of who is the breadwinner in the relationship. And it's something that you want to establish before getting married, because a lot of times, marriages dissolve 
due to financial issues or, or whatever the case may be, even beyond that. She told me, her and her friend told me that they had classmates in college, particularly white women, who went to college primarily for the purpose of finding a husband. They were the women who went and got English degrees, but they got really close to the football team or basketball team. They went after the guys who were pre-med because their goal was to find their husband. Even past that, their first husband. Because a lot of them were okay with the idea that more than likely their hus first husband would not be their last and they could at least collect a check from that first marriage and be good. They didn't go into college with the goal to acquire a degree and get out into the workforce and thrive, you know, and make their own money. They went into college so they can find a man that will make them money. That's why I find that that TikTok where this guy approaches this woman and is like, excuse me, ma'am, like, what do you do for a living? And she's like, I'm married. Excuse me, what do you do for a living? What do you mean? Like, what do you do for a living? I'm married, why? She's probably one of those women. And that's not how, I mean, majority of black women do not go into college thinking that they are going there just so they can find their man. We go there because we want to get an education and because we want to be badass working class people. So um, I just feel like we need to do away with this idea that black women should just settle for whatever. I think we deserve the world. I think we deserve luxury. I think we deserve to be spoiled and we deserve men who see us as valuable, beautiful beings who deserve those very things as well. And it just always puts a bad taste in my mouth. Like I'm seeing like every other week or month or whatever, this negative comment about, you know, how we're just despicable black women because we have standards, because we consider it dating down if for whatever reason, we have to let go of whatever desire we want in a relationship. I know we, as the Girlfriends Podcast, did not have ridiculous desires, you know? None of us did, none of us did, but somehow, even in that video of what we consider dating down, which is settling for less, we're still being demonized for it. And it's really ridiculous. So black women go after what you want don't settle for less because you settle then you end up becoming resentful and you're you're in a relationship that you're absolutely unsatisfied in and to everyone else black men white men uh white women women of any race men of any race please stop trying to make black women feel bad for wanting what they want because other races want what they want but they don't necessarily catch hell for it. I'm over here standing for my black women because I, I just feel like we catch unnecessarily sorry, hell for, for this. So that's all I have today. Tell me guys what you think. As usual, like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.